This is the 26th video of the playlist, the light being that Christmas honors God. Jesus didn't tell us to celebrate his birthday, and scholars differ on whether it was in the spring or fall, but they all agree that it was definitely not December. It's like he purposely prevented us from knowing so that we wouldn't celebrate it because to celebrate it, born-again Christians are joining light with darkness. When Jesus says, he who is following me shall not walk in the darkness, John 8, 12. In fact, the new covenant says, what fellowship has light with darkness? The rhetorical answer being none. And since Jesus is the light, celebrating this pagan holiday keeps you from having fellowship with the Lord since you're walking in darkness. It's like having a close friend that we've decided to not spend time with for being more interested in something else. By celebrating this pagan unholy day, the body of Christ has also not been helping the lost because they know it's a pagan holiday. And we've been called to take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Ephesians 5.11 We've been honoring Satan, the leading Antichrist, rather than honoring Jesus, God's Christ, deceiving ourselves above all, and doing it for centuries at least. And again, that's God's main point. Without taking our thoughts captive to Christ, as we were told to do in 2 Corinthians 10.5, and lining up our lives with his teaching, our heart is deceitful above all things, according to Jeremiah 17.9, which is why he's giving us a new heart, but we haven't yet received it. So we deceive ourselves, and as this text and playlist reveals, the born again have historically outrageously deceived ourselves. The Old Testament also says, learn not the way of the nations, for the customs of the people are vanity. A tree from the forest is cut down and worked with an axe by the hands of a craftsman. They decorate it with silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails so that it cannot move. That's Jeremiah 10, 2-4. There are loads of documentaries on it online, as with the one I put up on the screen. Apparently, most or much of it is another documentary, The Unwrapping of Christmas. It's history, myths, and traditions. And God says, if you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. Isaiah 7, 9, which is exactly the state of the church today, not standing at all. It's totally ineffective because at best, all we've been doing is creating more born-again hypocrites who, as my testimony reveals, refuse to be held accountable and honor Jesus, when that's the main thing every Christian should be doing. This pagan celebration also sucks up time, money, and resources, which should be spent on building the Lord's kingdom, which is not of this world and has nothing to do with those pagan buildings. We've historically called church, as I've already covered. It's a huge distraction, handed to us by Satan, but primarily sponsored by the born again. And it causes more unhappiness than happiness for loads of people. HopeMentalHealth.com says Christmas can be the most stressful time of the year, given the financial pressure and expectations to keep up with Christmas traditions. It can also trigger feelings of loss, grief, and trauma. Yet Christians get up in arms when held accountable because they love Satan's trinkets and the traditions of men. The very thing the Jews were so harshly rebuked for by Jesus. So all Satan had to do to get us hooked on it because our hearts are so deceitful was move one little letter around. Christians love watering down the truth so that as a group we are steeped in rebellion just as God said we would be before the day of the Lord's return in 2 Thessalonians 2.3. And again, as Messiah 2030 primarily has clearly revealed, there are more than 54 prophecies in the Bible pointing to his return in 2030. And 
Thanks be to God, he said there would be a latter rain downpour in Joel 2.23, which will begin just as soon as we repent and start humbly working together. Being honest. That's pretty important to God who says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Third John 1 4, that's because all lies come from Satan, not walking in the truth. We are honoring Satan, the devil, a murderer. So right after I uploaded this video, when I went to Bible Gateway to download my chapter to pray through, as the Lord has led me to do, I saw this, Bible Gateway, joining light with darkness. Yet Christians say it's not what they're doing, adamantly fighting against me and others who stand up for the truth. The fact is there is no way to celebrate this unholy day without joining light with darkness, because no matter how much you might try to separate it, everyone else knows it's tied to Santa. And when you take a stand against something as Christians are supposed to be doing against all things associated with Satan's world, since Jesus says my kingdom is not of this world, you can't do that by at the same time participating in what you're supposed to be standing against. So, Father, I pray specifically for Michael Weber that he would take you seriously when I reach out to him pretty soon here. That he would not harden his heart to your voice and be willing to be held accountable to the lies he's currently walking in, that he would not love his friends, his fellowship, his so-called church, none of that, more than you, love nothing more than you, so that he would be the first to run with the vision and begin the latter rain downpour. Amen.